Dayton police wrapped up a news conference just minutes ago about a deadly weekend shooting. What well, ended with a 15 year old girl dead and that girl's father behind bars. He's now facing several charges in connection to her death. And two news reporter Sartaj Singh has been covering this shooting since the beginning. He's live outside the police department with new information. Sartaj. Brooke and John, now police say that they've arrived on scene soon after the 911 call was placed on Sunday afternoon, and they quickly found 15 year old Kendra Farler dead and quickly learned that the explanation from her parents just didn't add up. Now, the parents told police that an autistic boy shot Kendra, but investigators said that story didn't match facts at the scene. This eventually led to the father being charged with the shooting. 38 year old Kenneth Paul Farler is in the Montgomery County Jail. He's being held on charges of involuntary manslaughter, reckless homicide, child endangering, and having weapons under disability. All these charges have gun specifications attached to them. Dane Police says Farler is a convicted felon and should not have had a gun. They say he used a shotgun to kill his daughter. Police calling it a senseless crime. To say it was a tragedy is, a, is an understatement. I don't know if, how I could paint the picture for you, but um, you, you have the father um, living in a boarding house, which is very small, actually in a room where this murder occurred, along with three other children and uh, the, uh, the mother. Now, according to Dayton police, Kenneth Paul Farler has been arrested before on drug trafficking charges. Reporting live in Dayton, Sartaj Singh, 2 News.